what questions you have for now. Okay, kind of pay attention to these little things I'm doing right now and during your class. And I'm going to ask you to make some observations. What did you notice that I did? Here's my board. very unsafe to be out in this area right here. In fact, we're going to call this the sawing line. Basically, whatever's in front of the, the teeth, right, right about where the board is right now, is what's going to get cut next, which should be obvious. You can put your hands anywhere but there, and you'll be fine. Here, here, here. In the back is fine. Here, here. Just not that little space, the sawing line. You will see some questions on that. Should you be in the sawing line? Fingers, no. But did I have to stand here to make some cuts in the sawing line? Yeah. I had to stand there, though. Okay, so Try not to be fooled by those questions. Standing there safe, fingers in the way, it's like my no, definitely not safe. Okay, what else? Uh, what other little things? There's quite a few more I can think of. Yeah. Well, I noticed the stop is Yes, I was hoping you would notice the uh, the stop switch down there. Okay, how did I turn that off? Yep, I used my knee. Okay, this is down here right in front of my knee. That is on purpose. Okay, we didn't just randomly put that there. So if I'm ever in a position where, uh-oh, I'm in trouble, I need to get out of this, okay, you've got a third hand, that'd be your knee, that can turn this off. You don't necessarily need to reach down to get it. In fact, I'm going to ask that you use your knee every time. Just so slow. Okay, instead, what I'll have you do is take your board, reach around from the back, and tap it from the back to the front, tap it at you. So just lightly give it a tap, so it comes out of there. If it doesn't come very far, you can reach in and pull it thoroughly when you get to the quiz, but Here's basically what one and two are saying. We've got these two doors, we're going to call these our guards. These guard us, keep us safe from these two wheels. When I hit the on switch down here, they turn clockwise. And this machine is called the bandsaw because the blade is one continuous band that just wraps around the wheels and it pretty much just goes around in circles over and over. And the only thing exposed, of course, is the teeth at this moment right here. Okay, and so think about it logically. Should we have these fitted or shut? The question reads, what do you guys think? Safe. That would definitely be safe. Yep. So your answer is safe or unsafe. And do I really want you to open these up while you're using the machine? Probably not. Number two. Numbers three and four. Now this, this is probably where the most uh, wrong answers happen are in three and four. And these are some of the most important questions. Let's, let's really get this one clear here. All right. The number of teeth. What's our time? You've got a guard, this yellow thing, and these are the guides that kind of guide the blade in the right place. If you come up here and you have all these teeth showing, I need you guys to do something before you make any cuts. Okay, this is pretty obvious that your hand can get some major damage done to it in this case. If this is the situation, I need you to loosen this black knob that's right here. If you're around this machine, it's this black knob back here, or this black knob over here. These are all the same machines. Okay. Just hold on to it, hold on to the guard. I'm just, you know, lefty loosey, lefty. Loosening it up, drop it down. Okay, if this is the board I'm cutting in this situation, it's about that thick. You want to set this so your fingers do not fit in there with the board. Okay, so even if you screw up and you slip and you go in, these guards will save you. Okay, so set up the situation so even if all goes wrong, you're still going to be safe. Okay, if you leave it up, Okay, now my hand can fit there, I'm going to get hurt if I mess up. Okay, so three or four, talking about setting, so three or more teeth, let's see, that's, I see one, two, three, I see three teeth right now, can my hand fit in there? Yes, so that makes it unsafe, yep, so it should be like one tooth, if that were to read safely. Uh, number four, setting the guard, the quarter of an inch, that's really the same question, I'm not sure why it's in the twice, quarter of an inch or three. Yeah, those are both in the safe there. So read it, read it closely. These are really similar to what you're going to see on that quiz. Number five should have a star next to it. Number five is by far the most important thing I'm going to teach you this entire semester. This is the only thing you know at the end of the semester. 
uh, it's been a good, a good semester. Put your fingers in the song line. Right here. What do you think? Unsafe. Unsafe. Not safe. Okay. Number six. Can I stand in the song line? I have to. I still have to stand there in order to work. I'll put my fingers there. Not safe. So five and six are opposites. No which is which. Fingers not safe. Number seven, the throat plate. Okay, you guys have not heard about the throat plate yet. It's this little disc. It fits in the hole around the blade. I take it out when I'm chaining the blade. The blade fits here. So yeah, it goes on the wheels. Okay, not real important now, but anyways. Think of that as kind of your warning line. We just don't want our fingers inside the throat plate. It should be obvious. So should you put your hands inside the throat plates? Definitely not safe. Number eight, one hand to guide it, the other one to push. That was when I was making that long cut. I did this, I pushed, I kind of moved over here. I wouldn't normally move around, I was moving so everybody could see. Like that. And if I demonstrate it, it's going to be safe. So, in this case, one hand to guide, the other to push is safe. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, that's when you're coming a long way. That one's a little more dangerous than the others, but sometimes you just have to do that to make cuts. Let me show you a better way. It's not actually on the test, I wish I didn't flip on the test. We're going to be using this thing, it's called a fence. You have to kind of raise this up if you want to in here make it. But this fence is meant to help you to cut really straight, straighter than I can with my two hands. Okay, this one. I'm going to cut a really parallel line to that edge. Turn it on, up against the blue fence. I'm going to use this thing, it's called a push stick. The most of the hook right there, hook on. I'm just basically sliding against the fence on a straight edge. I'm asking you not to start pulling and going backwards. Listen to the sound. Listen to the sound. That's squealing sound right there. That's squealing sound. Two sides of the board pinching, pinching the blade. These two sides are actually pinching together. They're kind of grabbing onto the blade, and they're when you're going backwards, you're probably going to pull it right off this wheel, which means it's going to be jammed in here, and it usually snaps the blade. It usually breaks it. That's about a $30 blade. So please do not back up deep cuts. It says to stop the bandsaw by forcing a piece of wood against the blade. Okay, so it's on. I just finished. I made all my cuts. It's slowing down, but I really want this thing to slow down faster. Should I force the board against the side of the blade? No, it's just playing hard on the equipment. Anytime you see the word force on any of my quizzes, the word force is always a giveaway that it's not safe. Let's talk about making curved cuts. Let's do an example of a curved cut. Let's say you needed to do something like this right here. Okay, kind of a curve, not a straight cut. So far I've done all straight cuts. Okay, the answer is unsafe. I'll just tell you that. It's not safe to use a curved cut. That roughness out there. So these two kind of work together, these two machines. So if you got to make a curved cut, I need you to do a series of straight cuts. As those pieces fell off, that made room for the blade, and it allowed me to turn. Right there. All right, that was 12 and 13. Number 14, safety glasses. You're already wearing them. You can figure out how to answer that one. 15, should we talk to our neighbor about tonight's plans while we're cutting? And yeah, obviously, no, right there. So a lot of common sense. Just think about it, type questions.